Welcome to Jesus Christ Prison Ministry and another video Bible study. Our topic, the book of John, the denial, part eight. This is based on John 19, 16 through 22. Then Pilate handed him over to be crucified and they took Jesus away. Too often in our lives, we hand him over to be crucified. We just love this world and our churches far too much to keep him in our lives. We are so afraid he might not approve of what we are doing. Therefore, we build our churches and vote those in who will approve of our sinful lives. Why are we afraid of the one who loves us and wants what is best for us and was willing to die for us? Carrying the cross all by himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, which in Hebrew is called Golgotha, all by himself. Jesus carried the burden of our sins all by himself. All had left him. There were no soothing hands to comfort and encourage him. All believed he had failed in his mission. They thought he was the biggest loser. If only he had listened to the church and done what he was told by the authorities, maybe his life would have been successful. Are you willing to walk the path Jesus walked all by yourself? The wonderful thing is, you won't be all by yourself. Jesus will never forsake you. He will always stand by your side if you live in obedience to his commands. I have experienced this in my life. He is always here with me, working with me, teaching me, instructing me, helping me to accomplish the work he has given me. I love him so much, I will continue to give him my life. The sower went forth to sow. In the East, the state of affairs was so unsettled and there was so great danger from violence that people dwelt chiefly in walled towns. And the husbandmen went forth daily to their labor outside the walls. So Christ, the heavenly sower, went forth to sow. He left his home of security and peace, left the glory that he had with the Father before the world was, left his position upon the throne of the universe. He went forth a suffering, tempted man, went forth in solitude to sow in tears, to water with his blood the seed of life for a world lost. His servants, in like manner, must go forth to sow. When called to become a sower of the seed of truth, Abraham was bidden, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, into a land that I will show thee. And he went out, not knowing whither he went. So to the apostle Paul, praying in the temple, his church at Jerusalem, came the message from God, Depart, for I will send thee far hence unto the Gentiles. So those who are called to unite with Christ must leave all in order to follow him. Old associations must be broken up, plans of life relinquished, earthly hopes surrendered. In toil and tears, in solitude and through sacrifice, must the seed be sown. I pray you also will get up, get out, and begin working for Jesus. You must leave your church as Paul did, as well as old associations must be broken up, plans of life relinquished, earthly hopes surrendered, leave it all in order to follow him. There they crucified him, along with two others, one on each side of him with Jesus in the middle. Jesus was not a coward. He never ran from his responsibilities and duties. He stood his ground and was always in the middle of the fight. All may forsake him, but he was in the middle of the controversy, 
reaching out with both hands to save sinners on all sides. What are you doing? Oh, yes, going to church. Pilate wrote an inscription and put it on the cross. It read, Jesus from Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Jesus and Pilate were the only two, up to this point in the conflict, who had not lied. Jesus, of course, would not lie to save his life. Your life and my life were more important to his life. Pilate spoke the truth. He found no guilt in Jesus, and Jesus was from Nazareth, and he was the king of the Jews. Many who go to church claim that Jesus was from Nazareth and that he was king of the Jews. However, like Pilate, they refuse to live in obedience to him. Recognizing the fact and accepting it into your life as truth are two very different paths. They lead in two very different directions. Many Jews read this inscription because the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city. It was written in Hebrew, Latin, and Greek. Most today are still reading the facts about Jesus, but few are surrendering their lives to those facts. Bible facts will not save you. You can know them all and still be lost. Lucifer knows them all, but he won't be saved unless you turn those facts into truths in your life you cannot see heaven. Eternal life can only come by accepting the truth into your life and living it. Jesus is the living truth. Unless you are living as he lived, you are lost. Then the Jewish high priest told Pilate, don't write the king of the Jews, but that this fellow said, I am the king of the Jews. Even today, most denominations, churches, pastors want to change the truth. They hate the truth. They do what Peter said. Some things in them, Paul's letters, are hard to understand which ignorant and unstable people distort, leading to their own destruction as they do the rest of the scriptures. 2 Peter 3.16 Peter knew he was there that night, and he did see and hear a lot of distorting and misleading testimony. He was one who took part in those deceptions and denials. He knew what he was talking about. Does your church, denomination, or pastor know what they are talking about? Probably not. The church is still denying Jesus in truth. Pilate replied, What I have written, I have written. Pilate knew whereof he had written. Not many who write under the authority of their denominations, churches, or religions know what they are writing. Jesus knew what he was speaking. He said, I speak just as the Father has told me. What is your pastor, church, or denomination teaching you? Just what the Father commands? To live the perfect, sinless, and commandment-keeping life? I think not. They write and speak what the church and denomination demands. It is all about money, power, and pride. I pray that you will sacrifice your life for Jesus so you too may live with Jesus forever. Thank you for joining JCPM and Jesus Christ for another video Bible study.